Hot smoke. Secure the convoy. Griffin, you reading this? Hey everybody, it's Crimson BZD with my Ghost Recon Future Soldier first impression review, whatever the hell you want to call it. So, we can just go ahead and jump right into this. Of course, we got campaign, you can do it co-op, multiplayer, and guerrilla mode, um, the co-op mode. Not going to talk about that because I haven't had a chance to play it, there's no matchmaking. Um, now, right here, what you're seeing is the GameStop pre-order incentives. Uh, you can put hats on your character, get a couple of guns, the AK-47 and MK-14, some camos, and an exclusive co-op map, uh, and, and another camo, apparently. This is the first thing I want to talk about here. This is Cloak, and if you don't see that guy on the tree, you will in just about now. Um, and all these graphics here, this looks like a cutscene, it is a cutscene, but... It's the same graphics in-game. As you can see this right here, it looks beautiful. Uh, I highly suggest you install the graphics pack and the whole game for the best experience when you get it. Um, now what you can, this example of right here is a lot of the big things in campaign mode. Um, taking out this plane, for example, shoot the engines out. And it probably could have stopped shooting there, but a little overkill never hurt. And you can see just here some of the intensity um, of campaign. All the modes are really quite intense. Um, for multiplayer, I can't say for sure for Gorilla, but I'm going to go ahead and assume. Here's another uh, campaign thing here, the magnetic goggles. Um, it just looks really cool. Helps you see in the dark, identify enemies. And as you can see, the wind's blowing my gun around here. And got him anyways. I really wish you could appreciate how uh, good of a shot that was. Here's a really great example of cutscene straight into gameplay. Also, I'm using this to show you the sync shot. Um, basically, you drop, you and your team drop all up to four targets at once. Um, you see, I'm about to start marking my targets. There's one, two, wait for it, three, and number four, the big guy is mine. Wait for your teammates to line up their shots and. Everyone's dead. Now here's a little bit of multiplayer action. Um, as you can see, it's fast-paced. Uh, uses the same cover system and such. And I really can't believe I killed that guy with my little MP7. Um, you can see that there's a lot of squad tactics. I guarantee you, the team that plays together is going to win. That's just how the game works. Um, there's only objective game modes. Uh, there's one that's called Conflict. It's it's basically your team deathmatch. Uh, it's just basically a bunch of random objectives. And here's some shots of my MK14. Now, this is after I've put a match trigger on it, a, um, a bipod grip. And I believe that's a 4X scope. I like to use it as a sniper rifle. Not a lot of people have the gun. Um, and you, you, since it's not actually a sniper rifle, you don't have, to have the sway, etc. It's a long time to bring it up to your eye. Wait for this one here. Pop. And here's an uh, example of a gadget in multi and yes, in multiplayer. Um, this is the UAV. Use it to mark targets. Your teammates can see them. And you generally get more points for an intel assist, 200 points. You usually get about 150 for a normal kill from cover. And here's our gunsmith mode. Now this is the deepest customization I've ever seen in a game. You can mess with the trigger, the gas system, uh, top and bottom rails. The best part is we got here the firing range. You can try the gun before you commit your points to it. Um, see how it works at range, while moving, etc. You can see here with my little MP7, um, I don't have too much range. A couple of well-placed bursts, well, quite a few well-placed bur bursts will eventually do the trick. Um, at 30 meters without cover, though, I just wreck them. Uh, I, I made sure to go with the control. It's basically uh, how big your crosshairs are at any given time. So don't expect it to be that nice right when you start multiplayer. And in conclusion, this is a great way to spend $60 this season. Um, I rated the 9 out of 10. Of course, nothing's perfect, but um, 
it's it's well worth the money. I have had so much fun with this game, and it's only been out a couple of days. So, other than that, I just want to thank you for watching. Um, yes, go buy this game. It is well worth it. Out for PC, 360, and PS3. Uh, and thanks for watching.